Andrew, what are the key issues or what is the one key issue that you see enterprises struggle when they are trying to move containers into production, applications inside of containers into production? Well, I think that the biggest thing we see is that they have this vision of getting really high efficiency, but when they first deploy, they're actually not getting that. And, and part of the problem comes from the way they specify the containers. So mm. we're now entering a world with infrastructure as code where the, uh, the container manifest actually has the resource requirements in it. And that's coming from upstream and it's usually wrong. So we see a lot of times the containers are way oversized. Mm. And then uh, guys like Kubernetes, they base what they run on the nodes based on the allocations, on the requests. Mm -hmm. So what ends up happening is you run all these containers in production and your utilization is terrible. Um, and they kind of had this vision of very high utilization and the reality is something different. So, you know, we see that a lot where if you actually analyze the patterns of activity of the workloads, use machine learning to understand the containers, you can kind of get that upstream container manifest much more accurate and the whole thing runs better. So it's kind of like this, this is what I thought I'd look like in containers, this is what I actually look like and they're not at all the same. It's almost like containers are not magic uh, and you just have to replace virtual machines with containers and all of a sudden you get 50% uh, denser data center. Yeah, it, 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 that's possible because both virtual virtual environments and containers can overcommit, but the container schedulers don't by default do overcommit very well. So they will just stack things based on you know, round robin or, or memory or CPU allocations. And so what ends up happening is if it amplifies any problems, any errors in the specification of the resources get amplified as you run in production uh, because the scheduler isn't really smart enough to dovetail workload patterns. Thank you, Andrew.